to battle, pack mates! And welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command, where I'm Pass Plus One. I am Lieutenant Commander Tarek of the Destroyer Thunderfang. As we continue our campaign against the Hydran Star Kingdom, and things have been going up and down and up and down. Oh boy, we were in a light cruiser last episode. We lost the light cruiser to a carrier who had some really fantastic luck with Gatling Vasers. Then we managed to uh, knock out a couple of enemy forces using our brand new destroyer. And hopefully we'll be able to knock out a few more so that we can actually get some progress going on this campaign. We do, of course, need to save up money. Unfortunately, we keep dying. We need to try and turn the tide on that one as soon as possible. And that means trying to take missions that mm, will hopefully be cakewalks. Although the AI is certainly not going to try and make that easy for me. So, red alert and increased speed. Today we are being escorted by the Death Wing, which is a plasma boat of a uh, pirate vessel, as well as the Babylon. Also has plasma torpedoes, although not nearly as many as the Death Wing. We are squaring off against a frigate, as well as a heavy cruiser. Oh goodness, what type of heavy cruiser are you? You are an LB, a Lord Bishop. I don't know what the Lord Bishop carries. Hmm. That'll be an interesting thing to find out. I think the Lord Bishop is the mixed variant, so it'll be two fusion beams, four Hellbores? I think. Don't quote me on that. It's been a while since we've played Hydrons. Although at some point we will be playing, of course, the Hydrons. Who are we going to be fighting as the Hydrons? That'll be an interesting question. Because we've already fought the Klingons, I think. Oh. Anyway, so uh, let's try and uh, follow up behind the Babylon. Let the big heavy cruiser take all the hits that we don't want to take. So we'll have get to increase speed as all of our weapons appear to be charged and fully ready to rock. And we can actually get up to 21-ish. Uh, while having all weapons currently sitting at full power status. Oh, there's a third vessel just showed up. We've got two frigates and a heavy cruiser against... Um, I don't know what to classify you. You are pirates, so you're not very good, although you are now cloaking, that's a problem. Uh, the KN, you are a destroyer with Hellbores. Yeah, you've got two Hellbores on board. Uh, the GNV is carrying fighters. Uh, the KN doesn't have fighters, I don't think. So we kind of looked out there. So we only have to worry about, so far, two groups of fighters. And I don't know about the Lord Bishop, but he's going to launch at any moment now. What do we got here? Yeah, you're purely a fighter carrier. I just gotta give you a wide berth here. Because I'm not gonna focus on fighting you. I'm gonna focus on fighting you. Go. The killer bees are my target. Expanding for generator. Set two levels of combat battle. And fire disruptors. Fire the ESG right now. Come on. Don't don't mess up on me. And buzz. That didn't do nearly as much as I kinda needed it to do. Let's do a defensive mine against the uh, incoming enemy forces, mainly that knight. Because if that knight gets close to me, I'm going to have a bad day. We are going to get awfully close to this asteroid. <laughs> uh, let's keep trying to chase down this killer bee. That's our one and only goal at this point. Hunt down this killer bee. Nah, he's got to get home. No! Darn it, we couldn't do it. Turn back around. we got to engage the fighters first. The fighters are the dangerous target. Let's slow down a little bit, since uh, we need to actually charge weapons. Now the mine right into his face. Let's see how nimble he is. Quite nimble. And we are in Gatling Phaser range. Ugh. Those Gatling Phasers are just terrifying. I've got to get close to use my heavy weapons, but if I do, the Gatling Phasers can just rip me open. Where are those fighters? There's a group of fighters. Hopefully, the, uh, hopefully our friend over here, the Deathwing, can handle himself. Doesn't look like he's actually accomplished anything yet. That's not great. Hi, I can really hurt you if you want me to. I kind of don't want to bother, but... So that's a whole bunch of hits, and now the Gatling Vasers are about to really ruin my day. Because they're still active. Come on, dive around back to the front of the ship. Back to the front of the ship where it doesn't cover. Come on, more speed, more speed. Looks like we just barely got out of range of that Gatling Vaser. Holy crap. Uh, although if he keeps turning like that, we're going to be in range of the Gatling Phaser very shortly, because the arc is pretty wide. Oh god. It's about to fire again at us. Yep, we're in the arc now. Right there. Fortunately, we were able to actually survive the hit. Fascinating. I think we're going to hit this mine. Yes, we did. And then the Gatling Phaser from that knight is just ripping me open. Is no good. Give me more power. And pull out past this mine so we don't get hit by it, hopefully. We need to actually pull some distance here. Uh, give him a parting shot with a phaser if you've got it. Mm, yeah, there we go. So parting shot with a phaser accomplished. He's basically crippled, but he does have an open fighter squadron, so... 
Oh crap, I'm gonna get really close to that. We're also about to run into our own mines, maybe? So I... Oh god. That was our big one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the big one. I think that kind of proves the point. Gosh darn it! More power! Get me out of here! We're abandoning. This is... This is dumb. We're gone. We would have had this guy, and that would have taken out... That would have taken out a pretty significant force. See if we can't actually sprint away. Yellow alert. Don't bother with any weapons. We're just gone. And cut the forward camera so I can actually view where I'm going. And hopefully get the heck out of here. We can do a speed of 1. 21. Or 31. Alright, let's just maximize the speed of time. We are fleeing. All oh, those fighters. You cannot deny the sheer effectiveness of fighters. They're deadly. They're devastating. Oh. They just ripped apart that heavy cruiser. I was expecting that plasma heavy cruiser to really rip him open. I mean, three plasma F torpedoes is nothing to sneeze at, but apparently they don't even care. So a bad mission for us, not accomplishing what we need to accomplish. And that's a problem. Because we really need to start dealing more damage if we want to actually do anything out here. We've got to accomplish missions. Maybe that means taking more pirate missions. I don't like it because, you know, pirate missions bring on MET-17 and that, that gets glitchy really fast, but... We gotta do something. We gotta change our tactics. Reframe the thinking that we must do. Because as we're thinking right now, it's clearly not working. Too used to a different style of play. Must adjust. Kind of like the pirate campaign, where it took us forever to actually figure out how to actually play them. 73 prestige, though. So that'll go somewhere. Hopefully pay for repairs. Shipyard. Or not shipyard. Supply. Yeah, it did pay for repairs. Okay. Not quite for the mines, though, because it lies about the price of mines. A salvage mission. Yeah, we gotta take it. <laughs> gotta take it. So we're gonna steal s spare parts and salvage everything. We have just been having not a great time. So we need to take some time, get everything on board, steal everything we can, tank up on parts, and so that's good time. Transport is now ready. There we go. Only have two transporters as far as I know. So now we'll slow down and maximize time. And we'll bring up the marine screen because it's the marine screen that actually tells you your transporter status. <laughs> so there we go. No more spare parts in that box. Okay. Where is the next nearest one? That's actually the nearest one. Okay. So we'll dart on over here. More power to speed. More speed to power. And this will be this mission. It's not glamorous, but somebody's got to do it. Oh god, command sending us out as a glorified trash man. Yeah, to be fair, we haven't been doing amazingly. We're trying, just not accomplishing. And bring me all the stuff, please. And we'll slow down so we can make a nice turn. And increase the speed of time while we wait for the transporters to come back online. Skidding back around. And... Nope, I think it's uh, glitched. It's just showing that there's a box there, but it isn't. Back up to full power. Space Garbage Man Ho. Yeah, we'll get that, then that, and then we'll pull out out of here. Spare parts are useful. We need them. And spare parts for free, we need even more. Oh, that's empty. That one's not. So we'll slow down, slow down the speed of time. Alrighty, now let's get out of here. Full power. And we're gone. Mission complete, hopefully that'll pay something. I don't think it does though, but I can dream. You can't stop me from dreaming. Let's see what we got. Uh, yeah. Oh, 300 prestige. Excellent. That actually puts us in purchasing a light cruiser range. I mean, yeah, we want a heavy cruiser, but at this point, we, we gotta take what we can get. Unfortunately, I don't see any light cruisers. Great. Well, that's a problem. At least if we die, we'll be able to buy something interesting. Battle cruisers are out. Oh, this is not a battle cruiser, as obviously seen. And they are with four ESGs. That would be nice. That would be a lot more fighter protection. All right, so we're uh, gonna press back against base. See what we can't do. Mission convoy escort. I hate convoy escorts. 
because I hate having to rely on a mission being successful based on some the performance of someone else. Alright, see you in two pirate ships. So we got no PT. Is that three pirate? Oh god. That's not even fair. Alright, so we got three enemy pirate vessels. We've got a freighter, a freighter, and a freighter. This freighter is probably the big one. But these ones are armored freighters that I should hopefully be able to take out in relatively short order. We're going to sprint for them, see if we can't hit them hard. And then we'll turn around and come back for him. And with any luck, he won't kill too many of them. Oh, wow. Uh, you're a full-on... What are you? You're a full-on something. DWT, so you're a destroyer. Two ESGs, that makes you quite powerful. Are you going to actually break and engage, or are you going to just... Are you part of this convoy? Please tell me you're not part of this convoy. Don't do that to me. You're also a frigate. You're a police... Well, not a police frigate, but you are a frigate. Okay. And are you a Q-ship? I don't think you are, but... No, you're a Q-ship. Okay. So it's kind of a trap convoy. I can work with that. Maybe. Potentially. Uh, let's see. ESG to minimum range, because we're going to have to bump people with it. This is a non-defensive ESG. And we're also going to put up a forward shield reinforcement. Holy crap, they're going all super ham on additional power. I'm going to go one and one just to knock that defense shift down. Make it a little bit annoying for them to try and generate it. Because I can't, I can't do a full stop. But I can harm it. Missile launcher, missile launcher. ESG to active. Oh, look at the one. I don't know why I'm spam clicking it. Oh, crap. Okay, we didn't deal nearly as much damage as we kind of had to in that pass. He did beam a mine onto us, which hurt, has hurt us. Not horrifically, but enough. Looks like the aggressive combat group is now getting fully involved. Slowing down a little bit. He's down to a speed of 10. I don't know if that's just a combat drop in speed or if we actually did that much damage, but judging by the BPV bar, we haven't done much. He, he is in mostly good shape. If I were him, I'd be dropping ESG, or not ESGs, but scatter packs left, right, and center. Hi, I've got him. So now we don't have to hold that. Phasers out the back. Need to get the disruptors on point. We do also have to get moving because at some point soon, Mr. Uh, third Vessel is somewhere over here? There? Oh, twin plasma torpedoes. That's, that's not cool. He's going to get involved in this fight and that's going to be a problem. Who are those missiles going for? Oh, they're going for a wild weasel. Okay. Disruptors. I said disruptors, not phasers, but I, I appreciate the effort. More speed. He's pulling up. I gotta keep the ESG ready to go. How much power do I got on it? I don't imagine it's much yet. Oh no, it's almost full. Okay, good. So let's uh let's get in range to bump him again. He's slowing down. He's slowing down and let me catch him. Kick it on. Ready for a phaser follow-up? Oh, you might actually hit it first. Yeah, I guess I'm going into you then. So I'm able to nail him pretty decently, actually. Took out one of his phaser threes. His missiles are still fine. That's a scatter pack. Um, any phaser. Do you have a rear arc? You don't have a rear arc. Okay. That's a scatter pack. Where are you going for? Not me. Okay. I don't care as much. I mean, yeah, it's going to suck that we're going to lose a Q ship, but hey, we'll deal with it as, as it comes. You are really booking it. I really would like you to slow down, please. He was really clever. He could lead into that mine. But I don't think he's done it. Because I've got... Did you hit your own? Or did those just... No, you hit your own mine. Interesting. Okay, that's a cunning strategy, I suppose. Come on, just get closer to me so I can start actually hurting you. That's the problem right now. I don't have enough energy to actually do this kind of pursuit. ESG! Yeah, it's got no power in it, but what the heck. We'll give it a little bit of a bump. Phasers, bump, 27, uh, 15, 35 in total, something like that. Keep coming around. Uh, we should be able to reduce speed, yeah, on him we're good. You're allied, I don't need to kill you. You got a single missile left, but it seems to be taking forever to recharge, even though it's a sea rack. Sea missile racks are supposed to recharge and fire twice every turn, which, don't know why this one's not working that way. Come on, we gotta deal with these guys quick so we can go deal with Mr. Plasma Boat. Okay, you're dead. Mr. Plasma Boat is still messing around. You're badly hurt. In fact, you've lost half your weapon systems, which is excellent. Especially as we're coming around to be able to hit you with more weapon systems. It's not going to be an ESG, but who cares. Right, straight, and forward. 
Nothing to follow up with. We used all our weapons. You're out of weapon systems. All right, he's gotten involved. Let's go go after the dagger warning now. Because this OPT is done. I mean, he's got nothing. Even those missiles are out. He's doing a speed of nine, but he's he's not capable of doing anything. So show me your other target, the dagger the dagger warning. Doing a speed of 16.6. Uh, I can't really afford to chase until after I get my phaser capacitor back and my uh, ESG capacitor back. I need these systems to be functioning properly before I can actually go sprinting off places. Mainly because I gotta hit him, hit him hard enough to knock out those plasma torpedoes. Otherwise, he's gonna ruin my day. What are you? Oh, you're the police ship. Are you actually a police ship? Like, what are you? FFT plus. A tug? Quite sure. We have full power. Let's kick it. Well, almost full power. Still charging up this disruptor. Once it's ready, we'll be able to really hurt him. Okay, that's a lie. Disruptors don't really hurt people. They, they hurt. I mean, they plink. They're great for an attacking a uh, fleeing enemy, and that's generally what we use them for the most. Although, when we do the Klingon campaign, that's going to be an interesting cha change of pace with that one. Although the Klingons don't have to worry about this gigantic capacitor they got to recharge after a whole bunch of attacks. All weapons are ready to go. We are in behind him, which puts us in... Oh, don't. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Don't. Please don't. Oh, he took it. He took it because he's one of those armored freighters. He's trying to run. We're going to line up right nice and behind him. Oh, that was the wrong one. Let's try this one. Oh, I think I got a piece of that. Take it. Did we get it? We got it. Oh, that was the plasma torpedo that was about to come online and we took it. Wonderful. Alright, so our marines are done there. They've done their job. Now we can just follow up and hit him normally. Just beat him over the head. Now that he doesn't have a weapon for another three turns. If needs be, I will send... I'll send marines against the other target. Too important not to. If those plasma torpedoes come online at any point, we're in trouble. Never mind, they will never come online. You guys still haven't finished up with this OPT over here? He's got no weapons. Literally, they're all gone. We destroyed them. Ugh. All right, let's just sprint back here, take care of him. He may have repaired a phaser by now. How's the uh, phaser capacitor, or plot ESG capacitor fully ready to go? Slow back speed time. Here we go. And we're going again, gonna bump him. Disruptors. Disruptors can't hit the broadside of a barn. And bump. Victory! So, I was not expecting that to go as well as it did. I saw three enemy contacts and was like, well, we're done. But no, that worked out relatively nicely. Excellent. Hopefully that'll be worth a decent amount of prestige, because we needed 170... Really? The entire convoy got through without a single loss, and you only give us 173 prestige. I sense that somebody doesn't like us. Oh, or the ambushy. Well, we know what we're going to do. We're going to run. I'm going to assign the task of patrolling the sector, but wait! The enemy! It is a frigate and a frigate, but you know what? One of these frigates I know for a fact is a... Yeah, the GNV... Oh, they're both carriers. Screw this, we're gone. Uh, map. I'm just gonna split the difference and go right between you two. Because you are not worth my time. Alright. We are gonna have to run and run as fast as we can. We're gonna pick this direction a little bit because I've got a little bit more maneuvering room. Just give me full power. I don't care about anything else. Um, you can shut this off, you can shut this off. This will give you enough power, right? Yeah, that should be good. How's our battery? Empty completely. Wonderful. Uh, don't need any of this stuff. Like, literally don't care about it at all. The only thing I care about is the fact that I can do a speed of uh, 31. Because that'll mean they won't be able to catch me. And because they're GNVs, GNVs have a single Gatling phaser and a phaser 2, or two phaser 2s, and to be frank, that's not the fear. I mean, yeah, the Gatling Phaser is terrifying and damaging, and it's essentially like he's got eight of the... Or, is it a single Gatling Phaser? It might be two. It's No, it's just one. So it's four Phaser 3s, which is not terrifying, but on a ship with this weak shields, yeah, I'm just going to take the free points I get for just escaping. It's not the whole 650 that you get if you fight your way out of the ambush, but I am not willing to fight all those fighters. I don't have the equipment to do it. So we're just going to turn tail and run. Get the heck out of here. 
And set to warp speed, please. Off to this area of space. It looks Laren. The color's similar enough. Ah, uh, discretion is the better part of valor. Don't get involved in fights that you are certainly going to lose. And that's a mistake we've made a couple of times. Under prestige, it's nothing big, but it's something. It's something to keep us going. Supplies, it's too worth 254. I don't think there's anything cheaper than that. I think it's probably one of the cheapest ships we could possibly buy. Uh, that would be a CA+, plus, but we're not really interested in that. Um, CW+, plus is a Jaguar war cruiser, and it is two disruptor... Eh, uh, no. Two disruptors, two ESGs. The problem is the disruptors. I want more disruptors on this ship. Give me something to sort of play with at longer range. CWLP, uh, Jack, Black Jaguar War Cruiser Leader has two, four disruptors. Oh, did the other one also have four disruptors? Did I just miss that? I think we may, I think we may hop to that. It doesn't seem like a terrible idea, honestly. Uh, what's the, uh, 59 one? Alley Cat War Destroyer. Three Disruptor 2s, two SGs. Yeah, it's better, but it's not what we're looking at. That might be the solution. Well, it won't be a solution, but it will be part of the improvement. So the CW Plus only has three Disruptors. Okay, so the, so the uh, leader does add an additional Disruptor. So we'll take the leader. Is it setting us back from beginning Heavy Cruiser? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. But we kind of need to get something going on this. We need to get into a ship that we can rely on. And I think at least two GSGs, four Disruptors, that'll help. The Pouncer. Uh, now we will sell the Thunderfang. Thank you for all the help. But uh, you're no longer needed. Or rather, we need other things. Completely top off the ship. We're not doing great on Prestige, but we're doing something. Another convoy escort. Great. Well, we are a destroyer. So destroyers are supposed to escort convoys. That is that is fair. Can't knock them too much for that. Oh, I like the ship. Alright, what do we got? Single frigate. Ah, oh, we can take that. Hopefully. Are you armed with plasma torpedoes? LR1 Doom. That's ominous. Alright, if it's just the one, we can take him. Uh, there's also a Q-ship mixed in the group, so he will be able to help out if the enemy comes from behind. Hopefully you're not a carrier. That would be very, very bad. Oh, speaking of which, let's uh, set up our weapons groups. So, all of the phasers, and we actually have a pretty decent number of them. Eight phaser ones is not terrible. Oh, that's such a lovely increase in phaser firepower from our earlier destroyer. And then we have four disruptors, which will be a lovely little assault battery. And then three on the ESG, of course. And this side... Oh, no. It's still a single hard point. We can't we can't mix and match tiered layer defense. Probes away. And get me up to speed. Let, oh, not much speed. Like, granted, a lot of that's in the capacitor right now, but, wow, 10 points of energy into that capacitor. He is twin plasma torpedo. I'm glad we found that out right now. Prep you. So we need to get you to not shoot me. We also need to knock out your electronic countermeasures. And get ourselves a little bit of some. Yeah, it's not going to help a super lot against Plasma Fs. Yes, having EZM will reduce the amount of damage that you take. But it's not going to be a significant improvement. That's still going to be around 40 damage. And it will suck. So keep up the electronic countermeasure screen. Can't get too close to him. If the worst comes to worst, if he decloaks, I'm going to be able to take a pot shot at him. He's coming out. 15. There it is. Oh, that was a mistake. I wanted disruptors, not the ESG. Crap. Shoot your plasma torpedoes at him, please. Please. One. Come on, shoot the other one at him. Both of them. Alright, full power. Let's see if we can't sprint into range in time before this thing shuts off. Because I've got a lot of power invested in it. I mean, that was 10 points of energy for a turn. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Hit. Follow up with all the phasers. Ah, uh, 61 damage. It's not insane damage, but hey, it was decent enough. Okay, we can slow it back down. No need to go sprinting at maximum speed anymore. We have our Wild Weasel. We don't need the Wild Weasel anymore, but we have it. Just a quick check of the sensors. Make sure he's the only one indeed, and he is indeed. Disruptor's about to come back online, and you always fire Disruptors as soon as you can. Almost never do you want to actually save. Because Disruptors cost the same amount of energy to hold as they do to charge. Which is unlike most other weapons in the game. 
Phaser Barrage, this ought to finish him off. I have high confidence. Easily done. So, we've actually managed to get ourselves in a rather cool looking ship. I like this design. I'm a fan. And uh, I think we've got a much nicer mix of weaponry. In fact, if the worst comes to worst, we can actually try and play a little bit of a skirmishing game now that we have four disruptors. 364 prestige will put us into a relatively safe zone, and we have captured territory. Uh, we are starting to stabilize, hopefully. Hopefully this is the start of a rolling train. Anyway, I've been Tarek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I post one of these videos, press that little bell icon. Leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.